probably I should have used another port but let's check what we get when we use this port again okay I'm getting the same error I'll just go ahead and change the L port to 2960 let's go ahead and see what exactly what's happening okay uh, the IP address is perfect in the address listening port and the execution process let's go ahead and try to run this one more time maybe I used the wrong let me check if okay I believe let me check the error it's showing that request HTTP system executed it's not a win32 application uh, okay okay I get it so instead of me using this uh, payload reverse TCP uh, just go ahead and select that once again okay I'll just go ahead and uh, do that once more I'll just go ahead and exit the session and I'll do that once more let me check okay I've exited this session and I got again copy same file let's see what happens maybe okay and just to copy this specific payload and paste it over here okay i already have it so i'll just copy this run it and i'll just go ahead and spear phishing attack vectors i'll just uh, go ahead and go here So I'll just go ahead and copy all the codes that I have written over here and I'll just paste it over here. Okay, I'll just start my mega msf console. Perfect, I'll just split and check the IP address okay session one is open so I'll just go and quickly uh, go ahead. Ready post. Okay, I'm at min right now. Okay, I believe maybe the payload should have been in capital. I'll just go ahead and check. Never mind. Two, three, four, four. Set the 
have host and let's see maybe uh, okay I believe uh, yeah, it's not even a third application. Okay, the same reason. So I believe that the reason for that this would be I'm trying to use a uh, 32 bit system. Uh, I'm trying to bypass the 32 bit system using this 64 bit application or payload. That's why. But once you have this, I'll just go ahead and background this one and I'll go ahead and use child. You can just go and type sessions iPhone i1 and okay it's it okay you can all just type sessions one okay perfect so what i could do i could just go ahead and try to go ahead and dump the hash once you go ahead and gain access we can probably go ahead and try to go ahead and create a different payload file. The reason being that I created a payload file which is of 64 bit, but uh, I have this 32 bit application, this 32 bit window system. That's why I just checked it over here. The reason it gave me uh, it's not a valid Win32 application, and this is a 32 bit system file, whereas I was running this payload which is 64 bit. So you can just simply go ahead and run this hash dump example, and as you go as soon as you go ahead and use this hash dump. Uh, then it will straight away go ahead and actually dump all the hashes that you have and it will be able to it will go ahead and automatically decrypt it and give you the exact password that you had so that would be it for this tutorial in the next tutorial i'll actually go ahead and uh, teach you how we could go ahead and crack windows uh, a, uh, 7 password hash file with the proper method as well as the linux password without messing it up